Hi everybody, this is Putz327, and welcome back to Midsummer Night. I can't remember which part we're on now, but I know where we are. I just can't remember what video. Okay, so, the last time we played, we, uh, we got trapped by a demon thing and befriended a squirrel that was in a trap. Don't know what the flower is. There's a wolf or a coyote in the distance howling. No passage again. No passage. No passage. So where do we go? What do we do? Let's go back this way. No passage. Ooh. Waterfall. No camera. Can go right under it. Okay. I hope I won't fall. I hope you don't fall either, Flim. More mushrooms. More trees. So where do we go? Is that Hagrid? It looks like Hagrid. How does he know about it? He went to Novgorod last week to trade furs. He saw it with his own eyes. Holy cow. He told me how Perun was thrown into the water and he swam in the Volkov River and began talking. He then threw a dozen of clubs on the shore and told the people to settle all their arguments by using them. Go say hi to Hagrid. Okay. I'm so hungry. Do we have enough firewood? The whole night is ahead of us. We have enough firewood, but no almost nothing to eat. Quiet. Do you hear it? Hunter's hand was already clutching his spear, ready to deal with unexpected danger when Clem turned out of the darkness of the forest and was now visible in the light of the fire. Who are you? Good fellows, have you seen an enormous beast here? He's kidnapped my sister. No, we haven't. Don't stand there. Come here and have a seat by the fire. Thank you so much for your hospitality, but how can I sit while my sister is in the paws of this beast? So what? What can you suggest? It's so dark around here. You've just come out of the forest, and you shouldn't come near the lake, either. My brother's telling the truth. If you hold your life dear, don't go to the lake at night. Why? Because the day of the week ends in Y. Holy moly, at night, in the waters of the lake, swim monsters, the souls of the drowned. This damn tower must be keeping them, and doesn't let them find their peace. Is this the Witcher? What tower? Our father told us stories about a fortress that used to be here. Then came water and a flood. Only one small island was left in the lake. The tower is on this island. Don't bother looking for it now. You can't see it because it's so foggy. You can't make it out from here. What if I take your boat and... I'm telling you, don't even think about it. 
To be honest, we don't care about you, but it would be a pity to lose the boat if it sinks. Without it, we won't be able to get back home tomorrow, and we'll have to make a detour. Oh, Hagrid's rude. Okay, then. Two men, the light from the bonfire is slightly reflecting their rigid faces. Ouch, hot. Only water ahead. I think if I sit inside the boat now and sail, these men will get really angry. Probably. Well then. No passage. No passage. Imagine that. I have nothing to tell you. I don't know what... Don't know myself what to do next. Well, great, Clem. Are we supposed to sacrifice the squirrel to these guys? Why do I have a feeling that's what we're supposed to do? Because they're hungry. seem very hungry. I'll distract them so you can get to the boat. <laughs> Look, where? A squirrel. Where? Oh, that <laughs> Catch it. We'll have something to eat. Poor squirrel. That is slightly rocking in the waves. I'm afraid of imagining all the monsters that could hide below this thick, cloudy water. Well, where are we supposed to go? Really? It's like playing Frogger here. quick. <laughs> Preservance. Perseverance is my achievement. Exactly.
These ones are really quick down here. constantly watching me. This must be the famous one-eyed Lico, a fright from children's tales. the Tower Island. And a great big head. Yay. A waterway achievement. The beast that has captured Alyanushka is somewhere on this island. First I should find him and release my dear sister from his bloodthirsty paws. <laughs> Never more. I'm afraid to merely look inside and far more climb in there. Unfortunately, I have got forgotten my ID of a looter at home. Okay. Looks like a mass grave. I wonder what might have been the reason for such a great number of deaths. So many trails of that beast here. B. E. Oh boy. It's a puzzle. Okay. T A B E O P. Two hour achievement. If I had been told that a raven could speak, I wouldn't have believed it. Okay, so we have to go ask the raven. The password, is it? I'm not going to touch anything. The raven. Can we speak to him? I'm stupid. I am so stupid. The password is Poe. Get all literary on me. 
soon as Clem entered, a soul-chilling cry coming from a man or an animal arose from the tower. Game saved. Where is the damn bear? Why is only his skin lying here? Who are you and how dare you enter this palace without permission? I'm Clem, son of a smith. This evening my sister was kidnapped by a huge bear. The trails by the foot of the tower show that he lives here. I'm going to free my sister from the paws of the bear and avenge her. I wish you good luck, the son of smith. Bitter laughter that turns into a silent sobbing comes out of the lying man. The laughter reflects from the high vaults of the tower and becomes a sinister echo. Shadows and an indifferent, indifferent noise of a burning torch only intensify despair that rules this god-forgotten place. Why are you laughing? What do you know about it? Answer me or I'll take this axe and cut your head off. He tries to smile but pulls an awful face. If you do so, fellow, I'll be very grateful to you. But you can cut me with an axe or stab me with a hay fork. You won't succeed. I've tried it before. Who are you? The name I was given by my father and mother is Yar. But for my courage and heroic deeds, people call me the Bear King. I am the only rightful sovereign of this country. By the rights given by the people and willed by the heavens, my ancestors have ruled over these lands since the dawn of time. I don't understand what lands you are talking about. It's a wasteland. The only thing remaining on the island is this tower. Tries to stand up but falls again on the cold stone. You're right. But I'm going to tell you something. Once upon a time a great city was here. My ancestors ruled over it for many centuries. They were great warriors and kings. When my time came, I ascended the throne. Drawing on wisdom of my fathers, I began to rule in justice and fairness. But misfortune fell my lot, and our forest that fed us with everything we needed appeared evil. It started to destroy the forest, where a cold stream was running, appeared a bad-smelling bog, or common people used to pick up mushrooms and berries, poisonous toadstools started to grow. Plague even our foreign healer had never seen before came to our city. So I went to the forest and looked for evil for three days, and when I found it, I stood right in front of it, bowed and said, Evil, stop destroying my city and forest. Go away from here. But I made a mistake because you can't make a deal with evil. It cursed me. It turned me into a fearful beast, a huge bear, and made me dance to its pipe. I've done a lot of mischief and brought misery in this disguise. Many times villagers tried to hound me to death. They put traps and drove a wood for me. But evil played a nasty joke on me. It made me invincible. Nothing could do me harm, not a blunt mattock of a farmer, nor a sharp arrow of a skilled hunter. It gave me an eternal life and made me watch the city, which was built by my great-grandfather, become empty, ruined, and going under the water, and I couldn't do anything about it. I saw my heir die in the plague, and with him my royal kin came to its end. I saw my last friends die, my loyal warriors. I stopped counting my years when I turned 276. And I stopped praying to the gods, asking for mercy to kill me. So don't get angry with me, Clem, the son of Smith. Though I am the monster, the bear you are looking for, it wasn't my will to take away your sister. That was for sorcerers. Sorcerous ceremonies of evil. Where is Alyanushka then? I can't tell anyone. Evil puts such spells on me that I can't tell even if I want to. My tongue won't obey me. Burn the bear way to unspell me. 
When you set me free, I'll tell you where to find that hideous creature and your dear sister, Alyanushka. Well, everybody, I think we have to call this an episode. Uh, we're running out of time. So thank you for watching. It's good that we're finally making headway. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you again in the next one. See you guys.